that track was called Something Outnumbered. It's a windings cover done in studio on the Flirt Sessions by Anna's Anchor. How's it going? Thanks for coming in. Hi, Harry. Keep Ryan. Good, Harry, tell us a bit about yourself and what you're, what you're all about. Uh, well, my name's Marty. Um, today I'm in playing under this project I have at the moment. It's called Anna's Anchor. Previously, I've been in, in here with you with a band called Going 90. But uh, I'm from Limerick. Um, Anna's Anchor is... It's a project with just myself, but I've been recording everything full band. I kind of wanted to feel like a full band, and that's why I gave it a band name as well, as opposed to just kind of Marty Ryan, and I kind of felt like that was that would kind of be boring as well. Mm. So um, it initially started as just a project that I was going to do on the side of Going 90. Since it would just be myself, I could kind of take smaller gigs that didn't make sense for, for that other band, and then I'd be able to tour more, just because like logistically, when you're on your own, things are just a lot easier between money wise and gear and everything so that was initially why I why I set it up so I wrote a bunch of songs and then recorded them and then kind of in the meantime things slowed down with with my other band so now at the moment this is just taking full focus and I recorded a, a four track EP that I'm just after putting out over last month and and a couple of tour dates coming up, so that's oh, that's basically it so far. Uh, tell us a bit about the tour dates. Uh, you you have uh, f- is it one or two Irish gigs and the uh, plan for all that? Yeah, well, I played one there last week, and then I have one more gig in the year in Tralee to finish out the year. But then I'm also doing a couple of European dates, which is first time ever. Um, I'm doing two in Czech Republic and two in Austria. So I'm doing Prague, Brno, Vienna, and Salzburg. And I don't know, that was just, I have a friend who's living over there and he had two gigs already booked and he was able to sort me out to play before him. And then I figured, well, if I'm going over for them, I might just try and, I may as well just book a couple more and it just kind of worked out. And I figured it's maybe like premature to be going, going out beyond Ireland at this stage, but I figured while the opportunity was there, I may as well. Absolutely, yeah. And since kind of that was why I started the band was to tour more, I think may as well just grab it. And I'm heading out now next week, so I can't wait for it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, hopefully they really work out for you. Thank you. Glad to see uh, f- f- Irish musicians going abroad. Um, you also said you were in Montana uh, last summer as well. Yeah, that's right. That was kind of basically where Anna's Anchor started. So over the summer... We were we were taking a break for going ninety for the summer initially, and I was just over there working. My girlfriend's from there, so I was over there, and uh, I was just kind of bored. And I booked studio time for the very end of the summer, so I spent the whole summer just writing writing a bunch of songs and getting them down, and then picking two, and then I recorded the two at the end of the summer. The two songs were basically about the time that I spent over there, and then subsequently, then when I came home, I recorded two more in a in a studio at home here in Ireland, and those were two songs about about my time here in Ireland. So over the last few months, so. There's kind of two sides to the EP, and that kind of made up the four-track EP that I'm really? putting out now. Really? Wow, well done. 